Hi guys, in this week's video we are going to be covering skin to skin contact, how to do it, and all the benefits for the parent and the baby. So stay tuned to the end of the video so that you can become an expert in everything skin to skin. My name is Cassie Reyes. I am a registered nurse and a board certified lactation consultant and owner of People's Lactation here in Washington, D.C. Please subscribe to the channel and join our community. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified every time I post new information on the channel. So you've probably heard a lot about the benefits of skin to skin contact and a lot of people start to get worried if their birth plan isn't going as exactly as planned. Maybe you planned on a natural vaginal delivery and end up having a cesarean birth. Independent of what type of delivery you have, the importance of skin to skin contact after baby is born is still extremely important. And if you do end up having a cesarean delivery and your hospital isn't able to have baby go to skin to skin immediately after birth, skin to skin can happen with the other parent. So whether that's dad or second mom, another partner, they can be the one to do skin to skin contact and help get this beautiful process started. So there's no limit on how much skin to skin that you can do. It's recommended that you start out right at the beginning of baby's life. If you can do one to two hours of skin to skin immediately, it has been shown to have major, major effects on breastfeeding and on baby's physiological and psychological processes. So the best way to do skin to skin is to have baby completely unwrapped down to the diaper. They can have a little hat on if needed for temperature regulation, but when baby is skin to skin with the parent, their body temperature starts to regulate the parent is even better than an electric incubator in helping to regulate baby's body temperature. So get that baby unwrapped, skin to skin, belly to belly. You want baby right in the center of the chest and you wanna be able to kiss the top of baby's head and you kinda of want them in a frog-like position. So hands down on the chest and legs kind of legs and hips kind of square to the parent's belly. You may want to try doing skin to skin for about 20 minutes prior to offering the baby a feeding at breast or chest. Just having baby belly to belly and skin to skin can really start to wake up all of their newborn feeding reflexes. A lot of reflexes um, that they will feel when they're skin to skin are you'll start to see them rooting around, they'll start to kind of bop their head around and start to kind of look for one nipple or the other. Um, you will see their little feet start to kick, their feet kick to help them locate the nipple and their hands will come up. They might start to smell smells that the Montgomery glands around the areola are starting to secrete that are similar to the smells of amniotic fluid and they smell very familiar to babies. So skin to skin can be really beneficial in establishing lactation and getting a more accurate and quick latch from the get-go. Some of the benefits to skin to skin for baby are temperature regulation, blood sugar regulation. Babies who are skin to skin with their parent have been shown to cry less and it can help with pain and crying during procedures, such as blood draws when you're in the hospital or any procedures that your baby may have while they're in the NICU. A lot of studies originally showed that skin to skin contact was really helpful for premature infants and in helping them regulate their body temperature and blood sugar. But it has since been shown that the benefits of skin to skin really apply to babies of all gestational ages. Skin to skin helps babies transition from birth and life inside the womb to life on the outside. While they're here warm with the parent, they're hearing similar sounds that they heard 
in utero, such as the parent's heartbeat, the parent's voice. It can be really helpful if when you're doing skin to skin, you talk or sing to your baby. All these things are really calming and can help with the transition and also can really help with parent-infant bonding. When your baby is skin to skin, your body releases oxytocin, which is a bonding hormone and also a really important hormone in milk production. So skin to skin also has so many benefits for the parent. It can really help improve milk supply and start to get your milk to transition from colostrum to milk in the early days and that oxytocin which is known as a bonding hormone as well can really help start to form a strong bond between you and your baby and it can have psychological benefits for both the baby and the parent it can really reduce stress and anxiety in both and when you improve that baby parent bonding it can have positive effects and protective effects um, from the parent having postpartum depression or postpartum anxiety and just overall improve the relationship and bonding that you have with your baby. Besides the blood sugar and body temperature benefits that we already discussed, skin to skin can also help regulate your baby's heart rate and baby's breathing. There are so many benefits to doing skin to skin and there's really no limit on how much and how often you do it. Remember, either parent can do the skin to skin. It doesn't have to be just the birth parent. So get baby down to the diaper and place them on your bare chest and then go ahead and cover them with either a hospital blanket or a swaddle blanket and just lay back and enjoy the bonding experience. A lot of partners laugh because baby will probably start rooting around on you and trying to locate your nipples. So if you find that happening and it's time for a feed, just go ahead and hand baby over to the parent who will be feeding baby because those are the cues that baby is ready. Skin to skin will help the parent start to pick up on baby's cues and recognize early on when baby's hungry. It's a really great way to open up communication between parent and baby and for the parent to be more receptive to the cues that baby's starting to show about feeding and being hungry. Skin to skin doesn't always have to be about feeding and it can just be about laying back and enjoying the bonding experience with your child. So enjoy this simple technique that can have so many benefits for both the baby and parent. I hope you found this video helpful. I would love for you to share down below your skin to skin experience and if you found it helpful for your relationship, either lactation or emotionally with your baby. And please comment down below, share with the community and subscribe to the channel. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified each week when I post a new video. And I also have a Facebook group called Lactation for the People. Go ahead and click the link down below so that you can join our community over there. Thanks everyone. I hope you all are having a great December and I will see you next week.